God damn it, you fucking guys. I'm gonna keep this short, okay? You passed your sevens over a month ago. Zest's the only one that's opened the necessary 40 accounts for his team leader. When I was a junior broker, I did it in 26 days, okay? You're not sending out press packets anymore. None of this Debbie the Time Life Operator bullshit. So get on the phones. It's time to get to work. Get off your ass. Move around. Motion creates emotion. I remember one time I had this guy call me up. Wanted to pitch me, right? Wanted to sell me stock. So I let him. I got every fucking rebuttal out of this guy. Kept him on the phone for an hour and a half. Towards the end, I started asking him buying questions. Like, what's the firm minimum? That's a buying question. Right there, that guy's got to take me down. It's not like I asked him, what's your 800 number? That's a fuck off question. I was giving him a run, and he blew it. Okay, to a question like, what is the firm minimum? The answer is zero. If you don't like the idea, don't pick up a single share. But this putz is telling me, you know, uh, 100 shares, wrong answer, no. You have to be closing all the time and be aggressive, learn how to push. Talk to him, ask him questions. Ask him rhetorical questions, doesn't matter, anything. Just get a yes out of him. If you're drowning and I throw you a life jacket, would you grab it? Yes, good. Pick up 200 shares, I won't let you down. Ask them how they'd like to see 30, 40 percent returns. What are they going to say? No? Fuck you. I don't want to see those returns. Stop laughing. It's not funny. If you can't learn how to close, you better start thinking about another career. And I am deadly serious about that. Dead fucking serious. And have your rebuttals ready. Guy says, call me tomorrow? Bullshit. Somebody tells you that they got money problems about buying 200 shares is lying to you. You know what I say to that? I say, hey, look, man. Tell me you don't like my firm. Tell me you don't like my idea. Tell me you don't like my fucking necktie. But don't tell me you can't put together 2,500 bucks. And there is no such thing as a no-sale call. A sale is made on every call you make. Either you sell the client some stock, or he sells you on a reason he can't. Either way, a sale is made. The only question is, who's going to close, you or him? And be relentless. That's it. I'm done.